Good morning. Today is Friday, June 19th, and my name is Miss Mindy, and I'm super excited to welcome you to Summer Adventures Club. Ooh, it's time for Summer Adventures Club. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Again, my name is Mindy, and I am an art teacher at, at a high school in Whitehall. Um, I like to do art all the time, and that's the reason why I have this website pulled up that you can see in front of you. But before I start showing you my website, I wanted to show you my most recent painting. This is rhinos. There's an older rhino kissing the forehead of a younger rhino with a big colorful background because one of my favorite things to paint is rhinos. I love how rhinos represent having super tough skin and charging forward and getting things done. But I also love how rhinos are so beautiful and strong and quiet and um, reflective. They're just one of my favorite animals. So on this website, I wanted to show you a little bit of the rhinos that I painted. Some are um, in different ways with lots of different patterns in the background. So I wanted you to be encouraged to use patterns in your background when you're making art. Um, there's all kinds of different rhinos on here. Some of them are hidden. And the reason why I wanted to show you these is because I think that some of these rhinos display how I've been an inventor creatively. And that's our word of the week, invention. Woo! Invention. So let me talk about this idea of the invention for you today. Um, I think the word invention can be broken down into some smaller words that have to do with me being an artist. One of the first words I want to talk to you about is inspire. I think that to inspire someone means to make them feel special, make them feel excited about something. And that's how I feel about rhinos when I paint them in my art. I really feel like they can be an inspiration or inspire. That's part of invention. And then let's keep going through these rhino paintings. Um, when I was doing this one, I was discovering learning something new because I didn't know for sure how a rhino would look when it was sitting down and I wanted to make it look like it was a baby rhino. So I had to discover how the horn was shown. And, um, I didn't know that little baby rhinos only have one little horn until the other one grows in when they get older. So this was a part of my discovery, making this rhino invention, the sculpture. And then I also wanted to talk to you about design. That's part of invention. When I was making this rhino or any of these other rhinos, I had to design how it was going to work out and plan and practice, especially on this one here. The colors had to look a certain way against that black background so they would really pop out. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you was being creative. I think creative, creativity is a big part of being an inventor. It's when you get to show your imagination and what kind of thoughts you have in your head. And so here I made a rhino look like it was running with all this traveling stuff all over it, this map. And then um, we're back to the beginning. So I'm really excited to work with you all summer. I think we're going to have a great time and I'm looking forward to the inventions that you come up with. Okay. Have a good summer.